hey guys um where do i even start with this video because there's so much to unwrap as this painting took me so long to finish i actually had more than two hour 30 minutes of clips just for this painting which took me so long to edit especially since i'm such a lazy person and if you hear any crickets in the background then that's because i'm recording the voiceover at midnight so i'm sorry about that as well i did the initial sketch with my favorite kind of style polychromos which are so good and i was just so excited to sketch with them i'm also using my whole pine gouache alongside with white vincent and newton gouache these are the best gouache paints out there if you want to invest in a new gouache set i'm also using my favorite brushes once again which are the shimoni art brushes many of you ask me which brushes i use so if you want to get these then the link is in my bio um not bio description box alongside with a little discount code for you which is adds you to the 15. Now starting with the painting I began by blocking some darker values as always as it just helps me understand the other colors better. I feel like I chose a difficult reference picture for this painting but it was just too pretty to ignore, especially the way she is looking at the other woman. With this painting, I really wanted to portray that female gaze, if you know what I mean. This was something that I wanted to do to celebrate Pride Month. And I know I'm so late in posting this video, but it was just so much work. And it also took me so long to search for this particular reference picture. And if you're an artist, then you would definitely understand the struggle and know the struggle of finding the right references to paint from. Also, this is going to be such a long video, so get your cup of tea or coffee and get cozy. Once I established the darker values, I started blocking the midtones, which were a little tricky to comprehend as there was a very thin line between the midtones and the highlights. There was just too much of contrast going on the face. I would be lying if I say I didn't face any challenges with this particular painting, especially the face of the woman who is looking at the other woman. But I do feel like it was worth it in the end as I also did enjoy the process regardless of the challenges I faced and also liked the outcome quite a bit. Once I was done with painting the skin, I moved to the eyes and this was such a struggle to get right and you might not see that in the video but there was a lot of going back and forth on that area just so I can get the expression right. As this was also one of the most important part of the painting as this particular expression is what the painting is about. And while we are at the topic of portrait painting, I also want to mention that I will soon be launching a one month workshop for people who want to learn all about portrait sketching and painting them with watercolors using different techniques and it's basically an all-in-one life course for people who want to learn more in depth about portrait sketching, proportions, watercolors, painting portraits with watercolors etc. And I know it's a complicated and lengthy topic, but I got you. I'm here to share my experience with these topics and the things I've learned throughout my years of practicing watercolors. I'm a big fan of learning new things and I'm also passionate about spreading my knowledge. So if you want to learn something new or get better at something, then you can join the course when it launches and it will be launching soon. And if you have any questions about it, then feel free to ask me in the comment section. 
Moreover, this would be a 5 session course and I will be walking you through every step of creating a portrait and painting it. And this is kind of an early announcement as the dates are not finalized yet but I'm working on it so stay tuned for that. I will also be posting more updates regarding this on my Instagram and I will leave the link to my Instagram in the description box so you can check that out if you are interested. While painting her hair, I had so much fun just because of how beautifully the light was hitting that part creating these beautiful tones of brown and orange and those in contrast with the darker areas felt so satisfying to paint. This whole composition is just so appealing to me, the way she is looking at the other women and the way she is involved in reading the book, it's like they are portraying their emotions so well. 
Like have you seen those Korean dramas where the female lead is just looking at a beautiful scene but the male lead is looking at the female lead? It's giving that kind of a vibe which I love so much and I know I've said this multiple times already but they look so pretty together. I was actually very nervous while painting and retouching her face again and again because this pose is a little awkward for me to paint. Also because she is kind of narrating the book and I wanted to show that very clearly so I knew if I messed it up I would have to start over as it would be very hard to fix. Also we can only add so many layers of gouache right? After one point it just starts going wrong and starts messing with the layers, the lower layers, the base layers and so I didn't want to reach that point so I just kept going slowly and carefully and by the end I actually ended up loving the book reading woman's expression and the overall composure a lot, a lot more than I actually expected.
to keep coming back to their faces again and again because it felt like it needed something more every few seconds and that's why it took me around 1.5 hours just to paint their faces and then it, I was so tired by the end of it that I just did the background very lightly and didn't get to focus on it but that could also be because of how I don't really know how to always do backgrounds it is something i'm working on so it's really just a work in progress for me i also hate how lengthy this video ended up to be i tried to cut it short but i just couldn't as all the parts seemed important to me I just wish it was a less lengthy video like a smaller video so it didn't feel like a chore to you guys to watch. I also really liked the way she was holding the book so I also wanted it to depict that properly and it went smoother than I had expected because it's always difficult to paint and draw hands for me but this one went smoother than most of my attempts so I'm very glad that it didn't take much of my time and energy.
is it for today's video i hope you guys enjoyed it and it wasn't way too long for you thanks again and if you enjoyed the process then please let me know in the comment section see you next time